This is Darren Drew of D. Drew Guitars. This is the same one I glued the bridge on. I'm going to show you how to install the strings. Have this out. Poke it through the hole. Have it about five inches. Go underneath. And then through the loop. And put it through the loop twice. Pull it tight. tail's going to stick out and want to come this way. The loop here goes underneath this string. So now we'll go up here, pull that pretty tight. I already have my holes lined up, make it easy for my strings to go in. Poke it straight down through. Pull it tight. Put your finger on the nut. Have your other two fingers underneath here like this and then just pull up on it and then that's about where you want to leave it so then poke this back up through the big hole and it'll be on this side of the post and then poke it back through the hole that holds the string in the tuning key poke it back down through again This helps to tie it in there a little bit better. Pull it tight. And I use my drill. And it wraps around this direction over the top. And I'll even go as far as to wrap the string I'm tightening up over the top of the loose end just to help hold it. A little bit tighter even. And that's it. I'll cut off part of this slack right now just because it gets in your way. And the more wraps you have on a nylon string, the kind of not the best it is. You want a couple, two and a half, three wraps. And otherwise it's more string to stretch in. Nylon strings stretch in a lot. So then just tuck that up tight and move on to the next string. So I'm going to turn the camera off and you guys will, I'll start it back again when I come to the last string. That way you don't have to see me do every one. Okay, so I'm on the last string now, the low E string. And so I'll tie it on opposite, but what I did was I left a little tail you know, out this way, like all the rest of them. And I put a little Allen wrench in here so it will leave me a gap right here. So I'll poke this through. Now, instead of going on this side, I will go on this side so that my end will go that direction. Poke it through the hole. Twice. Hold it tight. Get my Allen wrench out of there. Get this in there. I'll cut these off afterwards. Hold that tight. Put this through your hole. And this one's not going to have room to go into the hole again. So it's okay. So pull your string tight. Put your fingers underneath. Pull it back at least to a fret and a half on this one. And so I'll poke it back up through. And I'll kind of t and bring it on this side of the post. Come on. I 
And so I'll just loop it through like the beginning of a bow tie. Pull it tight. And also before, when I was cleaning this all up, I polished here, polished the headstock, tightened up all the screws, loose, and um, put a drop of like three-in-one oil on all the gears, worked them in with the drill to where they can, you know, turn smoothly now. Okay, now we're going to have to stretch it in. Let's trim this up really short. This one up really short. And then you can see how nice and clean that looks. That's what we want. So your hands don't hit it, but it just looks nice and clean. It is. It's, they're all holding each other. So now let's just stretch these just a touch. And then it's going to take a while to tune this thing because they stretch in so much. I always use a tuner. Tuners are always right. So it's E A D G B E four forty tuning. Yeah, go like this. start with the bigger string to tune because it will pull up the relief in the neck and it's a stronger string than the smallest one the high E this thing will have to be tuned many times not on string stretch in so I mean a ton about getting them absolutely perfect at the moment. If you ever get lost tuning a guitar, flatten it out, to, to take the tuning back, loosen the string, and then start again. If you ever lose track of where you are, if you're not finding it on your tuner, just loosen it and start again. It's the best approach. Otherwise, you'll just break strings. Okay. Now I'll stretch them in a little bit more. Go through the tuning again. But I'll cut off all these ends. Just because they look terrible. Trim them off later also some more. I just like to get them out of my way. I 
like a guitar to be the nice and clean when I get it done so all these loose ends have to come off. Besides, if you're on stage and they're poking out, you could poke a player standing next to you in the eye or something, and that's no good. So you want those always trimmed off nice and tidy. time it too much faster I don't have that many wraps around here about two to three that way you have less string to stretch in now I'll get it right into tune this time still take days for the strings to fully stretch in on this thing though they always do guitar does not have a truss rod so we don't have to worry about adjusting the relief in the neck so hopefully it's going to be good it's really nice and flat actually I just sight down you can put a capo here on the first fret touch it down here at the body on the uh, seventh fret should have eight thousands clearance this doesn't have eight thousandths, but it's got some, probably about three, three thousandths. Okay, so that's good. Want to check our nut height at the first fret. Not on string, a little bit more than um, normal acoustic string. So this one, you want them probably about twenty-five thousandths work down to like fifteen. But see, the B is a lot lower than the E. I'll make sure this doesn't rattle. So then I'll lower this one, the same as this, the B. All the rest are pretty good. But this will be a little, it's a little bit high, so I don't loosen the strings. All I do is use my fingernails, pull the string up and out of the slot. I will get my slot files, and which is what these are, Hosco. They have two different sizes on each side. Um, I mean, on each file. This one is 16,000. So that's what I'll use for this uh, my E string. File it just a little bit. And this has a, it's kind of amazing. This guitar was made in Spain, in Sweden, I mean. And it's got <clears throat> a bone saddle and a bone nut. For a cheaper in uh, acoustic nylon string, that's pretty good actually. Usually they're plastic. Yeah, that's good enough. Matches the B string. And our string height at the 12th fret will be 864 and 864. This should be a little bit lower. I don't play nylon string very well at all. This is the one I also did the frets on. These frets were terrible. I'm going to leave it right where it is because it feels pretty darn good. So that's how you put strings on the nylon string. Like I said, it'll take days to stretch in. So you just got to keep playing it, keep pulling on them, keep tuning it, and it will stretch in. But see, that's how the frets came out. That's how you tie it on. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like, hit the like button, and I'll be bringing you back some more instructional videos. Anyway, this is Darren. 
Danger of Guitars, goodbye. <laughs>